Hey folks, uh, today on Free Field Training, we are looking at Shieldbox again. Shieldbox is a subscription service that sends you tactical gear for about 50 bucks a month. And it's supposed to all cost more than the 50 bucks a month when you add it all together. So last month, we got a shield box, and it got lots and lots and lots of negative commentary from people. And of course, it was the, the first thing shield box had ever put together. They had never done one of these before, brand new startup company. So I talked back and forth with them, because they send these to me to talk about. And they said, hey, well, let's send you another one, and you bring it to your audience. We'll see what they think about this one. So that's what we're doing today. So put down there comments and questions about shield box and what's inside. And if you like it and you want to get it, there's going to be a link down in the description when we're done live streaming and you use code free field training with no spaces and you get a discount. I forget what the discount is, like 5% off or something. All right? So let's open it up, see what's inside, and then you guys can tell me what you think of it. I don't know what comes in these. They don't tell me in advance. They just send the box. So I can't guarantee you my math is going to be good about how much this stuff costs. All right. So on the top is, you can freeze frame that if you're interested. That's the MSRP of everything that comes inside of it. A little, minor, a little description. So they have Door Jam. So Door Jam is a product that, uh, basically it's what cops have been doing for a long time take this a piece of uh, tire inner tube and you cut two holes in it and you stretch it around a door hold on all right so here's your door you take your tire inner tube and you stretch around both door handles now, the door can't lock. So somebody makes this as a product. Apparently for people who don't know how to take a piece of tire in or two, cut two holes in it. Guys have been doing that for like, for as long as I've been a cop, probably many, many years before that. That's what door jam is. Send something from Stack Gear. knife so it's got like a black micarta handle on it it's a little thumb flipper decent sized blade here let's take a look at this compared to the knife that I'm carrying here so this is a, a Boker Plus I don't know if you know what a Boker Plus is for size comparison but about the same size here it is next to my coffee cup so Good size knife. It's got steel liners in it and a low profile pocket clip. So it'll sit deep in your pocket. That's pretty cool. Better than a pry bar. And a gift card for Shield Box and a sticker for Shield Box. Uh, cocaine trace wipes. I guess if you're into doing drug arrests and stuff, these could be cool. Uh, there's guys at work that use these. Uh, they'll take them and they'll, they'll wipe the dashboard of a car or a shift knob and see if there's cocaine on it to try to uh, give them an idea of whether there had ever been cocaine in the car. Not a huge drug case guy, but some people do like those. A flashing LED emergency road flare. I've never used one of these before. I've seen ads for them on stuff. I'm gonna bust this apart. Maybe we'll do a separate uh, live stream video on this. It's pretty cool. We have ones that sit on top of orange cones at work. They're just like a strobing LED beacon that we stick on top of a collapsible orange cone. Seems to work all right. And I used the Guardian Angel device. We're gonna video on that very shortly. Um, that does a similar concept. But I don't know how bright this is. I've never used one. We'll find out. And a t-shirt from Hollow Point Gear. Pretty cool. 
So, and then, oh, I'm sorry. And a lots of, lots of blue squiggly cut up paper. So that's the November shield box. Uh, honestly, I wish that was the October shield box because there's some stuff in here that's actually pretty useful. I like it. Uh, but the question is, would you guys pay a $50 subscription service knowing that this is the stuff coming in? Had you paid $50, would you be happy with it? So we're going to go up to the top and we're going to take some comments, questions, and whatnot and see what you guys think. What's up, Tom? Not a whole lot. Just doing a live stream, as usual. Alex the Gamer says, can I be a moderator? I have no idea what that is. Margo says, hi, Tom. Greetings from Spain. Hello. James Leach says, your audio is bad out of sync. Unfortunately, this is this is live. I'm shooting with my phone on 4G, so you kind of get the quality that you get with it when I'm shooting live. This is, instead of waiting for me to edit it for two weeks, you get it immediately. So, you know, like, video now, video in two weeks from now. In two weeks from now, it wouldn't do it wouldn't do this a lot of good because this isn't, you know, it's like time specific. It's monthly. All right, Mike says, what do you think about the quality of the knife, steel? Inside sounds cool, and I love the decent clip, but that's the X Factor. Uh, let me find it. Here we go. Let's pull the knife back out again. Let's see what it's marked. So it's stack gear. We've looked at some of the stack gear stuff before. I haven't looked at one of their knives yet. It's D2 Teal. It is D2 Tool Steel. At least that's what it's marked. Right there. Uh, it's fairly thick. It's at least as thick as the boker that I use. You guys can see that. It's a, a liner lock on the inside. You can see the liner lock on it. And it's got steel liners and either fiberglass or micarta handles. I'm not sure. Here, I'll get them really close. Hopefully the, the video is good here. And get a good idea what the knife looks like. And it looks like, don't quote me on this, but it looks like you can flip this uh, pocket clip to either side because there's two screws at the back and one on the other side here and there appears to be a cutout in there to screw it onto the other side so you'll be able to take this off, flip it around and screw it on the other way. So it looks like it's a right or left-handed knife. And it's put together with mini torques. So you should be able to take the handles off. Yep. And it's mini torques on that side too. You should be able to take it apart and flip things around or change handles if you were so interested or to clean it. And it's got a little bit of uh, jimping on the back here. But I'll take it to work, start using it for stuff and see what I like about it and what I don't like about it. I don't know. Seems like a decent knife. I don't know what the knife's supposed to cost though. Let's find out. Let's see what MSRP is on the knife. Boss's folding knife from Stack Gear is $49.99. I don't know what they retail for. The electronic flare, $15. Bucks. Door jam, um, tire inner tube is is $11.99, which I thought they were more. Uh, T-shirt is $20, bucks, which seems about right. Cocaine wipes are $1.84. I thought these were more expensive. Work makes it sound like this type of stuff is like $20 a packet. Dollar eighty four. Should have a case of these instead of like no. Gotta keep these in the desk. Come in and get them if you need them. Uh, T Swindow two thousand eight says Tom is a security officer. Would the shield box be beneficial to me? Uh, depending on what you're doing and which box it was. The first box had like a pry bar in it, and I, I don't know if there was a, a lot in there that would be beneficial to you. He had a rat's tourniquet and a pry bar and some other stuff in it. Uh, this one. Who couldn't use a good knife? A uh, blue line t-shirt. If you wear blue line t-shirts, it's a free t-shirt. Uh, if you do traffic control, I guess this would come in handy. Or you pop it on the top of a golf cart of your security guard. I don't think these would come in handy at all. What would you use cocaine wipes for as a security guard? Uh, I don't know that most security guards would have any use for this at all. Honestly, I don't know that many cops would have any use for this at all. This door jam thing. 
I think he would just make them, especially with somebody who would steal them or you'd lose them or something like that. But uh, most security guards have a key to the facilities that they're securing, and so I don't know why you would need to put this on the door to let other people come in, but maybe you'd have a use for it. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. You put a sticker on something. Oh, and it comes with a $5 gift card to Hollow Point Gear. It's like a t-shirt company. So it's five bucks off. If you like that t-shirt, get another one. So you tell me. Put in the comments. You tell me if this would be good for you as a security guard. I, I don't know. I, I think most most security guards wouldn't have a use for, for a lot of this stuff. Uh, if this actually turned out to be a $50 knife, then you get a knife and a bonus. If I was Shieldbox, if I ran Shieldbox, I would make sure that every month there was a good mid-level knife in there because that's how you keep people happy. Especially geared dudes. Send them real knives. Jason Lam uh, Jaden Lamb says, Hey, free field training. My uncle, that's fire chief, he has the magnetic mic in his fire car. I, I have one in my squad. I really like him. Uh, I want to get back with Masucci and do an install video with him. I know it's been a long time on Magnetic Mike, but I really like it. I just can't shoot video in my squad car at work, so I have to use someone else's squad car. Uh, Dylan C. says, I wish you could choose to get only one box instead of doing the subscription, then going in and ending the subscription to get just one box. All right, I don't know how you can do that. You can contact them and see if you can buy just one box. I don't know, but I think it would have to be next month's box. You know what I mean? Because they, they have their numbers and then they buy or acquire or whatever they're doing based upon those numbers. I'm sure what goes on with subscription boxes is they go to Stack Year and they say, we want to buy 500 of these. What kind of deal can we get on them? And that's why you're getting a discount on it. At least that's the theory. And like all subscription boxes, I'm sure some months you're going to get really good stuff that you like and some months you're going to get stuff that, you know, doesn't do anything for you. Uh, Mike says, does the shirt feel like it's going to last, and the material is it just a t-shirt or one that'll hold up? Let's check the tag. It has no tag. <laughs> oh, it just feels like a normal, like, Hanes cotton that you would buy at, you know, Walmart or whatever. It's a little heavier than, than what I wear as a sleep shirt. But since there's no tag on it to know, it's literally cut off of the shirt. I have no idea what it is. It feels like just a heavyweight cotton shirt. It's heavier than something I would wear because I sweat a lot. So, but it's it's like uh, if you went to Target or whatever and got a printed t-shirt with a weird logo on it, it's the same type of thing. Darlin Hartman says, I think $50 is too much for what you get. Greetings from uh, Galveston Sheriff's Office. Okay, then don't get it. It's I don't get paid to sell it. <laughs> I they say they send it to me and show people what it is and talk about it and let people make their own decision on it and that's that's what I'm doing. So this month, had I paid fifty dollars and I got this, I'd be pretty happy because there's stuff in here that I've seen ads of that I've never actually tried. Right? See ads for Door Jam all the time and I go, Nah, I'm not paying twelve dollars for that right? But it comes in the box and I get to play with it and be like, oh, all right. So that's what it is. Whatever my opinion ends up being of it, you know, like that's what it is. I get to play with it. It's actual police gear that I can, I can play with. And then a lot of people, they'll see an ad for something. They'll be, they'll be like, oh, that's stupid. Okay. Well, did you, have you actually tried it? No. Well, now you get to try it. Uh, the flare thing. I've seen ads for this. I've never tried it. No idea. Had I gotten this, so I get a t-shirt that my wife's going to wear, right? Because I don't wear blue line stuff. It's just, it's not my thing. I, I just wear black t-shirts. I don't have any sense of style. Uh, so, free t-shirt. Knife. Who's, who's going to throw away a knife, right? The flare thing. And some police equipment that I may or, you know, you may or may not have tried before. Cocaine wipes. I'm going to throw those in the desk at work. Someone will use these. I'm probably gonna, not going to get $2 worth of use on them, but one of our tech guys, will, they'll love these. Or give them to one of our new guys. They always love wiping things for cocaine. See if they can find some cocaine in the car. So if I had gotten this, I wouldn't feel like I got chipped.
Luke says, hey, Tom, I sit down with the sheriff at the agency I applied to tomorrow. I'll let you know how it goes, brother. Hopefully, I'll be getting an offer tomorrow. Hey, congrats. Hopefully, that goes through for you. Hopefully, it pays well. You never know with sheriff's offices, especially small, smaller places. Some of them pay really well, and some of them just pay garbage. Let me know how it works out. I'm rooting for you, man. Joe C. says, you look like Mike the Cop YouTube channel. I'm prettier than Mike. Also, I'm not as funny. <laughs> my my goal is not to make you laugh. Sometimes stuff's funny, but, you know, that's just my goofy personality. Mike Wilkerson says, gimping in the back? Jimping in the back, yeah. There's a little bit on the back of the knife there. Joe C. says, I came to see guns. Let's see some bullets fly. Well, I'm in my neighborhood, and I live in the suburbs. I don't live out in the boonies. Contrary to popular belief, uh, all cops and gun guys who are on the YouTubes, we don't all live out in the boonies where we just go in our backyard and shoot. I just did do an armor shoot. It might still be up on Instagram right now. We're going to post it on YouTube pretty soon of the Bullet Safe Bulletproof Fest. You want to see things get shot? I've got a bunch of other videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, Safe Life Defense armor getting shot, used armor getting shot, and I've got more coming out. So go over there, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon so you get notifications when I put new videos up. We shoot things here all the time, but my garage is not the place to do it. <laughs> you don't have a firing range in my garage. Mike says, does the box give the general estimated retail cost for everything's in the box, i.e., if you add everything together, are you getting a deal? They, they do. People took issue with it last month. They said that that wasn't the actual MSRPs, or that wasn't the actual prices you can get these things for. So I don't know what the actual prices you can get these for, things for, but they give an MSRP. So here it is. Uh, $50 knife, $14.95 for the electronic flare thing, door jams, $12.00. Blue line t-shirt, about $20, and the cocaine trace wipes, $1.84. And they estimate that the total retail value would be $98.76. Pull it up there. Everybody can freeze frame it. That's what you get in the box. Dylan C. says, will you always get at least equal to what you pay in the box? So the subscription is $50 a month, about. Maybe a little bit more. I haven't checked on it. And, uh... They tell you you're always going to get more, but that's MSRP. Uh, Mike Wilkerson says, the flashing light, Fred light, I've seen on the Facebook ads for it, and I love loading out my vehicle with safety and preparedness stuff. Yeah, so we're going to look at this. I'll, I'll do a quick video on this in the future. See if it's any good. Give you guys a link to it. Joe C. says, clearly a waste of money, but don't buy it. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. I wouldn't feel bad if I got this. I'd like to know, I'm going to look up, somebody look up and put in the in the comments down below what you can get these for, this knife. It says $49.95, so if this is actually a $50 knife, then the box clearly comes in at, under, at over what you would pay for it. But I, I only have one phone, and I'm a terrible YouTuber, I only have one phone, to be able to do the live stream with, so I can't look it up while I'm doing it. James Leach says, mid-level knives and flashlights. Yeah, that's how you keep people happy. Mid-level knives and flashlights. Let us try all of them. <laughs> Joe C. says, gives... Gives $150 a month. We'll send you Chinese knives and some emergency toothpaste. Link is in the description. <laughs> People like flashlights. People do like flashlights. Uh, Mike says nobody wants 50 flashlights across two years of activity. Not nobody. <laughs> I know plenty of people who would love 50, year, 50 flashlights over two years of activity, like my son. <laughs> there's lots of people out here who go nuts for flashlights. So, I think if they did a mid-level flashlight and a mid-level knife every month, people would be pretty happy with it. 
<laughs> James Leach says, the way my kids go through flashlights, that would be a selling point for me. Yeah. Josie says, screw this review. Tell us some crazy police stories. Uh, let's see. Oh, last week in the news, there was a shooting in Robbins. And a security guard who, from everything that I've heard from people, he was wearing no uniform, carrying a gun around, and a uniformed police officer from, I think it was Midlothian, shot him. So, hey, there's a crazy police story. The stuff that I've been talking about for years on here, about, hey, make sure you're marked. Hey, don't be so uptight that you can't say you're a security guard. Put security on your back really big. You're going to wear a badge as a security guard and, and nothing else. Put it around your neck, hang it around your neck so people can tell you're the security so you don't get shot. And people go, eh, I don't want people knowing I'm security, so I put officer on my back or I try to confuse people. Or I don't wear anything at all. I just wear all black and carry a gun around. Guess what? Don't do that because that's how people get hurt. And on the flip side, the cop that was there, maybe you want to look into things a little bit before you start dropping the hammer. I don't know. Wasn't there. But it sounds like it was a big mess. And it was a big mess because you've got people running around doing silly stuff on the south side at night. So there's your crazy police story. It's in the news. Go look it up. There's a security guard that was shot by a cop because there was a, a shooting. Four people were shot. The security guard had a gun out. And the cop showed up, not knowing who was who, and shot him. And that's exactly the type of stuff we're trying to avoid here from both sides. From the police officer's side to make people slow down, take a moment, look and see and listen to what's going on. And from the security side, use proper equipment and use proper tactics so that mistakes don't happen. So you don't get yourself hurt. Commonwealth Agent says Streamlight Stinger is the best flashlight I ever had. I have to agree, I really like the Streamlight Stingers. Daniel Erickson said, if you could decide on the contents of one of these boxes, what would you put in an LE and security? Uh, I would put knives in it. I'd put uh, decent mid-level flashlights that are rechargeable in it. Um, I'd probably try out every different type. i try to get with companies to do different types of zip cuffs, guys like that. Uh, maybe put a set of handcuffs in the box. Uh, instead of a knife or a flashlight, give people a new set of handcuffs once a month. I know if I got a, a, an oddball pair of Smith & Wesson handcuffs, like one of this, the... Um, corrections versions of handcuffs. That would be pretty cool. I'd like to see that. Mike says you're also shorter than Mike by, by like a whole human. Yeah, I am. Brent Rockwood says, I would never want that t-shirt. The last thing I want if I'm concealed carrying is to advertise it. Ah, but people send me t-shirts all the time and I like it because my wife likes them and nothing keeps the wife off your back like stuff that she likes. My wife's going to wear that t-shirt. I guarantee it. She loves the police t-shirts. I just hand them off to her. James Leach says, my town is so small, we have two cops on duty at all times. Sometimes the third will come in for various reasons. Uh, I, we've got towns around here in the south suburbs that have one cop working in a day. Crazy. Some guys uh, race baiting in the comments. And people are smacking him down. So we're just going to get rid of him. We don't need that. We don't need the racism on the channel. We're just talking. We're trying to talk about gear. And gear is not race specific. I don't care what color you are. If you like knives and flashlights and guns and body armor, you are welcome here. Renee Skorik. I'm probably killing your name there. Hello. Nice greeting from, Aust from Austria. I could learn a lot from your channel. I'm glad you're here. Howard Adams says, I want to be a cop when I get older. Do you have any advice for me? There's a whole playlist on the channel called So You Want to Be a Cop. And there's all sorts of them about disqualifiers and um, the physical requirements and the educational requirements and stuff. Look them up on the channel. There's, I mean, that's hours of video.
Chicago boy, the <laughs> 93 David says, how are you sitting outside right now? It's too cold out for me. Well, because the light's good out here, and then I don't have to clean my house, and I've got coffee. And I got a nice uh, polar fleece thing from uh, True Spec. True Spec sends me coats, which is, it's really nice instead of having to buy them. And they're really, really nice coats. So, the True Spec, the liner to their H2O proof law enforcement jacket is a fantastic jacket just in its own right. I've been wearing it like crazy. You've probably seen it all the live streams and YouTube videos and stuff. This, this is a great little jacket for keeping you warm. Uh, Spell Sword says, finally get a chance to watch your live video. Quick question. I can't see most of the numbers on the colorblind plate test. How relevant is this to most police departments? Is this waverable? It depends on who's giving you the test. Normally they send you to an optometrist to get your eyes checked. And colorblindness is supposed to be a disqualifier for law enforcement. If I know two cops that are completely colorblind that have been cops for 20 years. And one of them changed over departments like 10 years ago. So, it's doable, it's a matter of you finding a place that doesn't care about it, that does it. Some people, some places don't understand that colorblind people can testify to things. Like, was the light red or green? How are you supposed to say if the light was red or green? Well, they put them in order on the poll. You can see which, what color the light is, even if you're colorblind, but some places won't waver on it. So you gotta look around. I know guys who have done it, so don't give up just because you're colorblind. Daniel Erickson says, I recently saw a Fuzz Fan video where Ben gave a shout out to you. Your shout out to him, very, for your shout out to him, very cool. Well, he, he's a nice guy. And we do completely different things that are kind of in the same territory. You know, I do a lot of gear reviews and he talks about his, his family and his outside life. So, hook a brother up. I mean, what's, what's the problem with that? I like him. Unshell Pilot says, I just got an offer from Tinley Park, went in to fill out some paperwork, come to find out they don't take Indiana residents anymore, face palm. That's not legal. They can require that you move into town, they can require that you move into Illinois, but I don't think they can not give you a job because you don't currently reside in the state of Illinois. That's crazy. You may have to move, but if you're getting a conditional offer, you need to ask them, well, I can just move into town. Like, when do you need to move in? I'll get an apartment. You're talking about your career. Like, people move for their career all the time. Something to look into, man. I would go back. Daniel Erickson says, Do you know where Evergreen Park is? I was a part-time cop there a lifetime ago. Ah, the land of the abandoned mall. And pulling cops over at 3 o'clock in the morning when they're driving to Christ Hospital from the ghetto. Yeah. I know where Evergreen Park is. <laughs> uh, Steve Cosmo says, "Feel free, field train. What's your opinion on Glocks? I own a bunch of them. I use them all the time. You see them on the armor videos, and I carry one for work. I carry a Glock 35 at work." Will Wright says, "Love the channel. Thank you, sir." Uh, James Lee says, "Glock isn't bad, but there are other guns that are just as good or better. There's other guns that are better at certain things." And we could talk about that for hours. Maybe we'll do a live stream just talking about that. People will probably love it. We'll just banter about it. Owen Schwagler says, do you use the mic loop? No. That's that's stuff that people make to take money from dumb people. Honest personal opinion. I think that's that's straight up highway robbery. Guys have been using um Snap ring clips to hold their microphone onto their uniform for years. Guys have been using hair ties, bungee cord, rubber bands. That's the same thing. It's just like a hair tie or a little piece of bungee cord that you attach your mic to your uniform with. If you like it because you're not crafty enough to do that, then whatever. But I know how to tie a clove hitch, so I don't need I don't need a, a hoojit to hold my mic on the uniform. I can do the same thing with a little piece of string and, and a square knot. All right, my battery is getting low, so I'd love to wrap with you guys for hours, but, uh, right. 
Chicago Boy 93 says, let me know if you come to a concert in Rosemont. I'll try to get you a good parking spot. All right, I will. <laughs> I may hit you up with that. Harlem Globetrotters in Rosemont? I'm supposed to be going to a Globetrotters game with the Cub Scouts pretty soon. My kids' pack's going there. So, all right. It's been 30 minutes. We're going to sign off here. Uh, that's what's in Shield Box. You got any other questions about it? And if you want to see videos of the stuff that came in it, leave a comment down below what you'd like to see a video on. And I'll do a live stream just on that product. I think that'd be cool. And then we can take questions about it. We'll do interactive product reviews because there's no company sending me this stuff other than Shield Box. Pretty sure they don't care what I think is Stack Ears Knife or this flare thing. So we'll do interactive product reviews. Let me know down in the description. And if you like Shield Box, follow the link, use the code Free Field Training. You get, I think, 5% off. See you guys later.